Hi everyone, please excuse the hair, I haven't had time to do it and I've got to go on the school run now so I haven't got time, so it's just staying like this. Today I've just filmed this, oh my phone, uh, sorry, I've just filmed this um, halo eye with my OPV shadows, so I'm just going to show you how to do that now, I hope you like it, thanks for watching, bye. So this is the palette here. It's a great palette, really pigmented, and what I've done is circled the shadows I'm using because there's no names on them. So starting with this shade here, and it's just going to go all over the eyelid. Just keep blending it through, using a MAC 217, just blend over the whole eyelid. And then what I'm going to do is take a slightly darker shade. So if you haven't got this palette, use one that's similar. And I'm just going to take that one, and it's going to go in the crease, but you can blend it out slightly more, it doesn't have to concentrate just into the crease. So next I'm taking a slightly darker colour, this one has got a slightly shimmery sheen to it, sheen to it, and I'm going to put that one into the crease, slightly lower than before, so just keeping it down, and now I'm going in with the darkest colour, now this one looks a lot redder than it actually is, so it comes out more of a raspberry, dark raspberry pink colour, and what I'm doing, I'm using this OPV Shadows brush, this is from the 18 piece palette, and just basically carving out my socket line and where I want this to go. So I'm taking it all around the socket and in the inner corner as well. And I'm just going to build that up as I go along. So just repeating the same thing again and again. So it's going a little bit on my lid and then I'm going to blend it in with a clean brush or the last brush that you used and then darken it and keep repeating that until you've got it to the depth that you want it at. So this one's more of a bronzy colour and I want this one to go on, onto my the middle of my lid but I'm just putting it at the two corners where the, the raspberry red colour finishes. So I'm not using it right in the middle, I'm going to use this colour here to go right in the middle of the lid and just patting it on. So it's just like a gradual effect on the lid, lightest in the middle going to darker at both corners. And I'm just repeating exactly the same underneath using the same colours to mirror what's on the top. So you'll see as we go along I just darken the outer corner even more and on the top as well because I wanted that one a bit darker. So I'm going in here with just like a dark brown colour. Next I'm going to take a pigment from Peaches Makeup, it's Peaches and Cream and I'm just popping that one onto the tear duct and then just cleaning up with one of my foundation brushes from the 18 piece set. These brushes are so soft. This is my Extreme Art Liner Pen from Artists of Makeup Cosmetics, I absolutely love this to do eyeliner and just putting the mascara on and then some powder just buffing everything out with some powder. Blusher next, my little girl's in here with me now if you can hear her, and Iconic Lashes from House of Lashes, probably one of my favourite pairs of eyelashes. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator, this one's Starlight, I absolutely love these, just look at that highlight, and just tidy up your brows. So that's the finished look everyone, hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Bye.